coupling. At the end of this lesson, you will be able to describe coupling. Describe the types of couplings. List out the advantages and disadvantages of couplings. Mention the applications of couplings. All automobiles are made up of a number of machine elements to transmit power. Once after the power is generated by the engine, it is transmitted to the wheels through the shaft. If the power transmission distance is quite long, and if any non-coaxial shafts are used for the power transmission, what will happen? First of all, self-weight will become high due to increase in shaft length. Non-coaxial shaft induces vibration, shock and overload that will lead to premature failure of these shafts. To eliminate all these issues, couplings are used with effective power transmission from driver shaft to driven shaft. In this chapter, we shall discuss about coupling, its types and applications. Coupling is a mechanical device which connects two shafts together at their ends for power transmission. They are used in angular misaligned shafts, coaxial shafts or aligned shafts, lateral misaligned shafts and axial misaligned shafts. Couplings are classified into two types. For collinear or coaxial shaft, the rigid couplings are used and for non-collinear or non-coaxial shafts, Flexible couplings are used. Because in collinear shaft, the axis of both shafts meet at the same line. So, there are no much possibilities of vibration occurrence during power transmission. But in the non-collinear shafts, the axis of both shafts do not meet at the same line. In such cases, the rigid couplings are not suited. In order to allow this misalignment, Flexible couplings are used here. Accordingly, the flexible couplings are used for misaligned shafts, whereas rigid couplings are used for perfectly aligned shafts. The simplest type of rigid coupling is muff coupling, in which the hollow cylinder is fitted over the two shafts and locked by the key. Thus, the hollow cylinder looks like a sleeve. Hence, it's also called as sleeve coupling. Here, the inner diameter of the sleeve is same as that of the shaft diameter. As already known, it is the simplest type because the power transmission takes place between two parts, like sleeve and the key. That is, the torque from the driver shaft is transmitted to the sleeve through the key. But it is difficult to assemble and disassemble. To overcome this problem, split muff couplings are used. The split muff has two equal halves, which are split along the plane passing through the axis of the shaft. Thus, it is easy to disassemble and assemble by compressing the halves. It is called as clamp coupling or compression coupling. These two sleeves are connected by key and bolt and nuts. Thereby, Frictional force is exerted between the sleeve and the surface of the shaft. This frictional force will also help to transmit power. During high power transmission, the gap between the sleeve and the shafts are increased and it results in decrease of frictional force and this may lead to reduction in power transmission. So, the split puff coupling is not suitable for high speed application. To overcome this problem, flange couplings are used. In flange coupling, the driver shaft and driven shafts are connected by a sleeve called flange and locked by the key. And then these two flanges are connected by bolts and nuts. During power transmission, the torque from the driver shaft is transferred to the flange through key. Then it is transferred to another flange through bolts and nuts. So it has high torque transmitting capacity. It is easy to assemble and disassemble. It has simple design and is easy to manufacture. Applications of Rigid Coupling 
in conveyors, people movers, rigid couplings are used. In small wind power plants, the blade shaft is directly coupled to the generator shaft through the rigid coupling. In agriculture, for irrigation purposes, pump is coupled by the motor through rigid coupling. The flange couplings can be used only in aligned shafts, where the motion is free from shocks and vibrations. Moreover, it is used in high-speed applications. But in case of misaligned shafts caused by inaccurate assembly, these couplings may induce force which tends to bend the shafts. Thus, it is not suitable for misaligned or non-coaxial shaft. In such cases, flexible coupling, that is, boost pin type flange coupling is employed. In this, a flexible element like a rubber bush is between the driving and the driven flanges. It is mostly suitable for axial misalignment shafts. These two flanges are connected by number of pins in place of bolts in the flange coupling, through which the power is transmitted between the shafts via the key. This rubber bush not only accommodates the misalignment, but also absorbs the shocks and vibrations during power transmission. But the rubber bush may wear during power transmission, and it is eliminated by adding brass lining in between the inner surfaces. It may increase the cost of coupling. Here comes the old ham coupling, where no rubber bush is used. In old ham's coupling, a center disc with a protrude surface is used to fit the two internally grooved flanges connected to the shafts through which power is transmitted. But this coupling is not suitable for transmitting power between the angular shafts. Here comes the role of universal coupling with fork and center block arrangements. Here, the power from the driving shaft is transmitted to the driven shaft through the forks via center block. This flexible coupling is used in automobiles, especially in propeller shafts. Advantages This flexible coupling prevents the shock from the load and absorbs vibrations. It is used for transmission of high torque. It is easy to assemble and disassemble due to simple design. Applications of flexible coupling It is used to couple the propeller shaft in automobiles. It is also used in test fixture for connecting motor and torque sensor with the workpiece in order to measure torque of the workpiece. Disadvantages Its cost is higher than the rigid flange coupling. It requires more radial space. In this lesson, the learner has learned that coupling is a mechanical device which connects two shafts together at their ends for power transmission. Couplings are classified as rigid coupling for coaxial shafts and flexible coupling for non-coaxial shafts. The rigid couplings are muff or sleeve coupling, compression or clamp split or muff coupling and flange coupling. The flexible couplings are bush pin type flange coupling, old ham coupling, and universal coupling.